As a real estate agent, one of the most common questions I get from people buying a home here or leasing a home or even those just visiting on vacation is asking me what there is to do in Huntington Beach. So in today, we're going to take a little bit of time and we're going to talk about things that you can do year round while visiting Huntington Beach. We're going to talk about the top 10 things that you should do if you're in the area. Now, we're not going to take the seasonal um, activities into account because they're only available certain times of the year. Things like the AVP volleyball tournament or the US Open of Surfing, the Vans Open of Surfing, or any of the other things that happen down near the Huntington Beach Pier like concerts and what have you because again, they're only happening during certain times of the year. Today's video is going to be directed more around those things that you can do any time of the year now, regardless of when you're visiting. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each one. I'm just gonna give you some ideas of things to consider because not all of these might fit your lifestyle. Um, you know, Huntington Beach does offer a very active lifestyle for those that wanna get out and enjoy the weather, enjoy the, you know, the scenery and what have you. And, and a lot of what we're going to discuss today is around that, um, but some of them are directed around pets per se, um, like our first one, which is going to be visiting Dog Beach. Huntington Beach is one of the few beaches that actually has a dedicated beach where you can bring your dogs onto the sand and let them play, run around with other dogs without having a leash on. They can run in the water, you can throw a ball, um, and you can just let them run around. Um, you know, it's a lot of people come from all areas of Orange County to have their dogs come and run on the beach and play in the sand. And that is one of the cool things that you can take advantage of if you do have a pet. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the Bolsa Chica Wetlands. Now, this is another activity for those that wanna get active and get out and about. And really for those that, you know, enjoy wildlife. Um, there's birds there, there's rattlesnakes there. It's, it's nearly 1,500 acres of wetlands. Um, you know, situated near North Huntington Beach. Um, it's it's a marsh area that feeds from the, the Huntington Harbor into this estuary, if you will. Uh, there's nearly five miles of walking paths. Um, you have great views of the wetlands. Um, you know, parts of the wetlands, you can actually see the ocean as well. So it's a great place to just get out and enjoy the Huntington Beach weather. Third on our list is going to be doing a bonfire in Huntington Beach. Now, Huntington Beach is a city that allows bonfires on the beach. We actually have fire pits that are already set up ready for you to bring wood, bring lighter fluid, bring your chairs, any food you want. Um, no alcohol, unfortunately, is permitted. Uh, but we do have you know, bonfires you know, in, in three different areas of Huntington Beach from the Bolsa Chica State Beach to the Huntington Beach City Beach and the Huntington State Beach. So there's quite a few out there, but understand that if you are looking to get out there on a nice day, a lot of times you have to get out there very, very early in the morning to reserve them because people get up early, put their stuff there, even if they're not looking to take advantage of it until later in the day, they get up you know, early to to reserve their spot um, because it is one of those cool things that you can do and you can stay on the beach until I believe almost 1130 at night, which is an awesome experience. Fourth on our list would be taking a walk down the Huntington Beach Pier. Now the Huntington Beach Pier is famous at this point. It's probably one of the main attractions with people coming to Huntington Beach, uh, but taking a walk down the pier allows you to, you know, take in the salt air, watch the surfers out there, watch people playing volleyball on the beach, and just kind of soaking up Huntington Beach, if you will. I mean, if you walk to the very end of Huntington Beach, you can take a look back and you can see, you know, a lot of Huntington Beach, you can actually see all the way to the mountains. Um, a lot of times we have snow on those mountains during the winter months and, and you have awesome views to take in. Uh, and just before this video was shot, we actually had a restaurant at the end of the pier, um, which is recently shut down, but my guess is you will have something opening up in that spot in the near future, uh, which is also a cool experience because you can, you know, it's almost like sitting in a cruise ship out there, uh, eating, drinking, and, and just seeing the ocean from, from all angles. Fifth on our list would be for those who like to eat and drink and look at the ocean and maybe even a sunset or two, and that is going and having a drink at one of the few restaurants in Huntington that offers 
views of the ocean while taking in that dining experience and that can be anything from Simsies to bungalow to tanners the rooftop bar or even the rooftop bar at the Hilton all of these offer really really good food you know a great experience great drinks all while taking in wonderful views. Sixth on our list is going to be taking a bike ride down the Strand. You could go for a run if you prefer, but a bike ride will get it done a little bit quicker. Um, we have more scenic, uninterrupted coast than anywhere in California. Uh, and so you can actually ride, you know, most of Huntington Beach, the coastline on a path that is dedicated for bikes, for pedestrians. And it's a great experience. I mean, you can have almost 11 miles that you can take in on a bicycle. And there are also four-seater bikes that you can rent if you have a family. Uh, but it is a cool experience to take it in because you can see everything from the Bolsa Chica State Beach to Dog Beach to Huntington City Beach all the way down to Huntington State Beach and even ride into Newport if you choose to do that. Next on our list is surfing. Now I would only recommend surfing in Huntington Beach if you are familiar with surfing. Um, the waves here are not like they are in other areas of the country or other areas of the world. The surf here is very powerful. It can be quite a lot for those that are not familiar with the water. The water temperature is a bit colder here than, you know, the East Coast in a lot of ways. So, but surfing is a reason that a lot of people come to California and that can mean if you're looking to bodyboard or surf, we have the best, you know, some of the best surf in the entire country and a lot of people come here to do that. And if you are a surfer, there are definitely places to rent boards and or buy them if you choose, but I would definitely recommend getting out in the in the water and taking advantage of it if you are a surfer. Eighth on our list is taking a Duffy boat around the Huntington Harbor. Now, the Huntington Harbor is an area where houses are situated around a harbor. You have multi-million dollar houses, very large boats, yachts in some cases, and you can rent small Duffy boats where you can cruise through the harbor, take a look at the houses, enjoy food, drinks, all while you know taking in the scenery and it's a very cool experience especially if you're not from the area and and really familiar with big multi-million dollar homes it's a cool experience to take in number nine on the list would be watching the sunset huntington beach offers some of the best views of sunsets anywhere in california especially on clear warm days and the nice thing about huntington beach as i mentioned earlier is we have you know miles and miles of uninterrupted coastline which allows you a lot of opportunities to go to the beach and set up a chair and just watch the sun come down it's it's spectacular um, and it's really nice when when you have views of Catalina out there and watching the sunset behind it it's definitely something to take in and the last thing on that list number 10 is not just one thing but a couple of different things that you can do as someone looking to visit the area take advantage of what Huntington Beach has to offer and that is live music. Uh, there are places that offer plenty of live music. Sea Legs on the Beach is one of those. Depending on when you're here, it's definitely an awesome experience to take in the environment, be able to sit outside and enjoy that music. You have Frisbee Golf, uh, one of the few cities locally that actually has a Frisbee Golf course, so you can go out and take advantage of that. We have places where you can rent segways and, and drive them down the beach. Um, on on the path as well so there's other things out there especially if you're an active person that you can take advantage of what Huntington Beach has to offer um, it's it's an awesome place I've been here for for nearly 18 years um, and I, I enjoy every minute of it and all of these things are, are things I've done personally um, and things that you know you should consider if you're coming to the area now if you have additional questions um, maybe you're looking to buy a house here, you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Maybe you're just looking to lease or visit the area and have questions. You can definitely reach out to me as well. Um, but I encourage you to, to come visit, um, enjoy what Huntington Beach has to offer. And again, I, use me as a resource if you need me. But for now, thanks again for, uh, for taking the time to watch and uh, we'll see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.